Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to GIS World Channel. Today, we have the queen of the post 4G 2024, Melly, and I would like to have a short interview with her about the post 4G, which is coming in Tartu. So, as you know, we are really active in this uh, community and we would like to promote the Force 4 g to all participants and so. And this is the best way to ask the question or some, some new features or such a things from the organizer, one of the main organizers, Queen of the Conference. So, Melly, before a start, if you would like to say hello to the audience, stage is yours, please. Yes, hello. I'm very happy to be here and to share some insights of uh, what is going to be happening very soon because uh, it's almost uh, a bit more than 100 days left until the conference so it's the countdown is on yeah that's great thank you very much so let's uh, mainly jump to the first uh, question from you uh, could you please kindly provide an introduction to Force4G organizing team and offer insight into significance of Force4G Europe? Yes, uh, this conference couldn't happen without the great organizing team and it is co-organized uh, by a very international team that's composed of Force4G enthusiasts and specialists who have already years of experience in putting together these kind of academic and community events. And also previous organizers are also involved. And if we talk about the local support, then we have two great organizations that uh, are helping us. So first of all, the Estonian Geoinformatics Society, and secondly, the Landscape Geoinformatics Lab, from University of Tartu, which uh, both of them are doing a huge job to make this conference happen. And to give some uh, insights of what's going to happen is that we already see that this conference has great interest uh, by, by the community because the open call to the program uh, it, it kind of uh, surpassed all of our expectations in regards of the proposals that were sent. So we're super happy to have this amazing program. And because of all of these reasons, we are very much working to make this conference a great experience for all the participants. Yeah, that's great. Thank you very much. And I can confirm that that you are working very hard because I'm somehow in, in your team and but not working as much as you. But I can confirm that, and that's great. And it was even the uh, good news to me. I wasn't informed about this. The number of the submission is a lot, and I'm really happy about it. Thank you very much. So let's go to the second question. Can you elaborate on dates, venue, and details regarding the Force 4G Europe? Yes. So the conference takes place a uh, full week. So the first week of July, from the 1st until the 7th. So a nice full week is covered. And the venue is going to be in Tartu, which is the second largest city of Estonia. And uh, the location of the conference is going to be the uh, Department of Geography. And uh, a few words about Tartu is that uh, the population is around 100,000 people. And everything in the city is within a walking distance. So basically, when you're coming, you don't need to have a car. You don't even have to use public transportation because it's very convenient to walk, walk everywhere. And uh, another fun fact is that this year, Tartu is going to be the European capital of culture. So there is going to be a summer full of events a year full of events. So we're very happily expecting all of the visitors here and especially during the conference. So whenever you come, just expect to see lots of events, uh, exhibition halls, theaters, museums, little cafes next to the river. And summer is the best time to visit Tartu. So we are very much inviting you. Thanks a lot. And it was a great, uh... 
explanation and you know giving the motivation to the participant it shouldn't be just because of you know the attending to the conference and you know they can make uh, some holidays or vacation after that and uh, and it was great and i'm really interested to be there and you know it will be the first time even to me and let's discover this time tartu and estonia so let's go to the uh, third question uh, Melly, what advantages would members of the geospatial community gain by participating in Force4G Europe and why is it worth attending? Yeah, uh, as a background, I would add that I'm actually a newbie in this community and I'm already organizing this event and this has turned me into the biggest fan of, uh, of this community. So only because of the community, I would want to come and uh, as I mentioned before, we will have an amazing program and the contributions are going to be from all over Europe. So if you're into practical workshops, different lectures, meeting great people, networking, participating at different social events, then this is the event for you. And I think for many of us, it will be a highlight event and I think the community is the key word because that's where the atmosphere comes from and that's all worth traveling for as well. And uh, yeah, the conference will be streamed and uh, it will be uh, uh, online uh, availability as well. But this on-site energy and the full experience is what people should come for. Exactly. It's another story. You know, <laughs> if somebody attend in person and we warmly invite, you know, everybody to participate in this great, great event in person, you know, it's very important for us. If you are done with the answer, I would like to jump to the next question. Yes. Thanks. So maybe this question is related mostly to the students and maybe for some participant, um, from uh, different countries. Are there any scholarship or volunteer opportunities available for students or young researchers interested in participating in FOS4G Europe? Yes, uh, while organizing, we want to make sure that uh, everyone has uh, an opportunity to join, it, join the event, even if they don't have really good finances or, or whatever other reasons. So because of that, we do have uh, different options. So first of them is going to be the travel grant program. So we have information about it on our website. So I suggest to look it up. But what's it about is that you apply and if you get selected, you will be granted a free conference pass. In addition, a free workshop and a grant that is that funds up to 400 euros of your accommodation or travel expenses. So this is a really great way to, to actually participate without having a, a financial hit, let's say. Of course, some uh, volunteering is expected, but uh, I suggest to read from the website and encourage everyone to apply. Now, the second option we have is just for volunteering. Uh, we know that volunteers are a really big part of creating a successful event. So we're looking for all these uh, enthusiastic people who want to contribute with their positive energy and who want to be part of the great organizing team that we have. And the call for volunteers is constantly open. Uh, also information can be found from the website or you can contact us via email and uh, thirdly, uh, we have done some nice cooperation with the student housing in Tartu, with the two main uh, student dormitories. So those who want to find student-friendly or budget-friendly accommodation, then also our website has listed all these accommodation partners. So we hope that everybody can find their best way. That's great. Uh, and it's a very good uh, news for the students or, as you said, you know, maybe uh, the new graduate, you know, they can participate in, even in this event with the, you know, if they are in the pressure. So it means there is no excuse, you know, <laughs> to deny exactly. this. Exactly. 
Ben. <laughs> and um, I would like to say thank to all of you because you know the supporting the students in those uh, conferences is very important because they are our future. And I can say even uh, five years ago, six years ago, I was uh, the travel grantees, and it's it's open this uh, community even to me. And because of that, you know, I'm really active and, you know, making friendship, you know, contacting with the, you know, developer in this way. I do recommend from my point of view, the students must attend or young researcher or, um, you know, recent graduate students. So, Meli, I'm taking your time a lot, but let's go to the <laughs> last question. I think it was an interesting interview and hopefully everybody could follow the interview and, you know, get, you know, some, some overview from the conference. So the last question from my side, could you please highlight any new features or update that distinguish FOS4G 2024 from previous conferences? It's a challenging yes. question, maybe, yeah? Yeah, uh, we have actually thought about this and our conference is indeed going to be very significant. So actually, for the very first time, the event is organized in Estonia, the uh, city of Tartu. And when we look at the European map, then talking about the uh, European Phos4G conferences, then uh, it's going to be the most northern and eastern uh, location uh, ever the, the, where the Phos4G Europe conference has taken place. And we actually created a really nice bounding box map that we shared in our social media, where we listed all of these previous Phos4G Europe conferences as well. So if you care to look it up, then uh, it's it's a nice overview. And then, uh, which we also kind of accidentally found out, was that it should be the first time when uh, a community vote was organized for workshops. So it's always held for the general program, but for workshops, uh, at least as far as we know, uh, supposedly it's the first time. And it was actually a great help to estimate the room capacities and to put together the agenda a lot better so that everybody is, is going to be happy. Yeah. And it was a nice, uh, you know, to know about this because I can confirm even this sentence because last year in FOS4G 2023, the worldwide in Kosovo, and I was in the the in the general program committee, and it was exactly just to the to those committees that this workshop. But as you said, it's a, you know it's open to the community. It was a really great a jump in this way, I can say. And maybe I can uh, say this sentence, as you said, uh, many information are available in the website and I will add it into the video as a link and they can come and if, uh, even the email address. And I'm sure the people from the uh, post 40 uh, Euro 2024, they will answer your question as soon as possible and friendly way. And I can confirm again this one and hopefully to see uh, many of you attending into this amazing conference because you are watching that they are working hard to have you to host you and to have a great conference together and which is a very important for the organizer to see the huge number of the participants I, and after that yeah it is the release for them for you to see okay it was worth enough yeah yeah Thank you very much, Merli. And, you know, I will be there, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and see you soon in person. Yeah. Thank you and bye.